Hey guys, so we're gonna to another video. Today we're destroying the Stell monitor. Yes, I know it's actually kind of a nice monitor, but it makes an arcing sound whenever I turn it on, so yeah, that's why I'm destroying it. But if it wasn't for that, I probably would have kept it. And it's not necessarily vintage. Oh, by the way, I did throw it down before I started recording, and watch this. It still works. Can you see the refresh rate on it? Or is it in sync with the camera? I don't know if you can see, but the screen's on. It might be kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it's on. And yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah. It sounds kind of like an old CRT TV. Like it has that faint squeal to it. So. That's why I'm breaking it. Because I know that something's arcing in it. Did I break the screen? Well, messed it up, but I didn't necessarily break it. Well, I just killed it. Or did that pop the breaker? Yeah, still. Um, I'm gonna try. Okay. Full turn back on. Yep. Oh well. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so I definitely broke the backlight somehow. Okay, that's enough. Let's drop it now. Ooh, strong. Okay. Screen down. I've at least damaged it. Oh, yeah, that's Kensington walk on it. That's interesting. Now we're just seeing a monitor with Kensington walk on it. Oh. Oh, maybe that. Huh. Well, it didn't necessarily last for too long before it just stopped working. So, oh wow, did you see that? <laughs> did you see all my blasts that just came out? Oh, um, that was still slightly on. So it's not, it's not just playing an image. Can you also see it? Or it's slightly out frame. I'll just adjust my camera a bit. I did get a new tripod, by the way. So, yeah, it's actually a really nice Canon. Guessing from somewhere in the early 2000s to the mm, late 90s, I'd say. So, yeah. And I got it Google for five bucks. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but, but it's still on. So. We're just gonna send this boy through it. Oh gosh. Yeah, well, didn't necessarily go through it how it wanted. But it definitely did look pretty cool. By the way, if you're wondering what happened to me for a little while, well, my channel got deleted. I got back. So now we're back in action. Mm. Mm, so long. Or is it out of frame? Y'all can see it. So that's good. Okay, this is a 
Dell Ultra Sharp, by the way. So, if you're wondering, that's what the model is. Well, not necessarily the model, but that's what the type it is. I don't know why I have to explain that because most likely I'm going to put that in the title of this video. <laughs> I believe the breaker. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Thank you. Well, in case you're wondering what just happened, I blew the breaker. So. Yay. Alright, I think I'll just unplug it. Oh. Wait. Cause, eh. I'll leave it plugged in, but probably won't do anything with it until we get into the internals of the screen. Or like the backlight is, so I can just work that out. Whoa, blue breaker! I can still see. I probably can, but yeah. But in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm gonna take off the screen so we can get into the internals of it. By the way, get off. Up here, there should be going down here too. Or is it maybe on the sides? Because I know that's not going to be an LED. Considering that this thing was in, what, 2003? Back then, even, even though LEDs were first technically intro introduced in like, I think somewhere in the 70s. They were still, like, really new. So. Yeah. Okay, what? I'm gonna flip it over real quick. And then take it off. Yeah, this one. Oh, I see the, the ultra sharp thing. A little ultra sharp looking. So, yay. Um, okay.
And yeah, in my last video, um, I just really coffee maker and a DVD player. Check that out, by the way. Um, apparently, in the DVD player, there's a disc. And, I'm just going to the basement and then, when go to the description of that video and you'll probably find out which one which movie it is this this one's actually pretty sharp not gonna lie get it it's double too sharp wait what did I say sharp I meant to say strong but yeah, you get the point. This screen is really strong. cool glass that they use because it's not just like standard glass they also put like a special like a special like tinted glass that's cool Okay, I'm just gonna let me get my screwdriver real quick and yeah. Okay, I have six minutes left. So I'm gonna try and clean this out. Okay, I'm gonna clean it out. Make a part two to this, to be honest. I thought this was a plasma. Probably not. Yeah, it's not. Because if it was, there would be pieces everywhere. Also, I probably won't be able to remove this screen like that. So this is definitely an LCD. Interesting smell to it, by the way. It smells like glue. Like, no joke, it smells like somebody just filled, filled this thing up to the brim with glue. This is probably what happened to it. This was probably at some point at school monitor, but it could probably just just gave it some glue to drink. I will do they know that point some going to a monitor would it end up basically featuring them in a video. Like no joke, if Snow Vision ever comes around, I will probably update this thing. Update this video to have compatibility with it. So because I mean, it's, it's pretty much just like you take a whiff of an open blue bottle. Gosh. Who makes their stuff too strong? Okay. I want to 
much time do I have left? Three minutes, okay, I'll just... I think I'll stop at two minutes. And then the outro will hopefully just be one minute. But I know what they are. They're, they're like down in these parts down here. So we'll find them and see if we can get them to glow at all. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to end the video. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Part 1 of destroying the Stell Ultra Sharp Monitor. So, comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you know you'll never miss another video and bye bye comment if you want to